Hello one and all, it's Team Traction here, and yes, finally putting a face to the name. This is me, Team Traction. So yeah, just a quick little channel update for you. We've hit 50 subscribers, thank you ever so much, I can't thank you enough. It is mind-blowing that actually 50 people would subscribe to my channel, I thought I'd get 20, 30 maximum at all. So yeah, 50 is great, halfway to 100, to the future, and yes, just before Christmas, we've also hit an overall 1,000 channel views, which is, again, insane, thank you ever so much, so 50 subscribers, 1,000 channel views, and for that I will be doing a Q&A video, so yeah, leave me some questions you want answered from me, um, sensible ones really, and I'll answer them on video. So if you want to see that, like I say, just leave some, leave some questions and I will do a 50 subscriber special. Also, just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, yeah, I'm in nice clothes because I've had the family round and I've got a couple of Christmas presents. And those Christmas presents will put a long way towards my YouTube channel. I haven't got one, but I have got two locomotives now that will run on Aria St. Evil my layout, which again I will be doing a layout tour in March. Um, I did do a little vote on my last video, which would you prefer? Q&A one, but I will still be doing a layout tour in March for when it's a bit more higher standard. Now Christmas has come, I've got a lot more products I can use to build with it and make it a lot better. But yeah, on to the locomotives. The first one I got was a J94 Austerity. Uh, which is brilliant because these were used for shunting. Yes, I'm going to have to um, relivery it because you wouldn't have seen a BR black locomotive on a 1940s layout, but it will do for now. It's good enough how it is, and I'm really pleased. It's an absolutely stunning model, bit noisy runner, but yeah, I'll do a full unboxing and review later in a year. As well, as well, this. Beastie. Now this is my star locomotive. Southern Railway Q1. These were built for the war. It's in a wartime livery, so this is going straight on my layout. Nothing else needs doing to it. It's an absolute beast. These engines had a tractive effort of £30,000. And for an 060 locomotive, that's just unheard of. The most powerful 060s ever built. Yes, they're not... Well, some people may say they're not attractive, but they were built for the war, and they were not built for looks. They were built for purpose, and by God did they deliver. Absolute beautiful logo. I've just received one for Christmas. Picked this up for £76, which is amazing. For a locomotive of this calibre, the, the weight is insane. It's amazing. So, yeah. So those two locomotives will be reviewed on my channel in due course. The next main video will be me at the... That will be... Yes, a workshop video. That's a new series coming out in 2018. Workshops where we are converting an auto coach, which basically they're coaches that ran on these branch lines. So it is on my level at the moment. I can't get it. But basically we, we repaint it and we add figures and we paint sort of do the interior, the roof and the sides to make it look nicer. That's part one of that series. That's coming out in January. Also, another big update, bi-monthly uploads, which in layman's terms, fortnight. So every fortnight I'm going to be uploading. That's changed from every month, so that's better. You get more content and hopefully that should up my views which will allow me to make even more. So yeah, what else do I need to say? I've got that video coming. I've also got another train spotting video coming. And uh, then it's on to the future where we do a layout tour, go to more heritage railways, do more modelling, review these two locomotives. And yeah, that, that will be most of season one covered. So season one will finish in July. 2018. Season 2 will start in September 2018 
and the season pilot is going to be going to, well we're, we're going to go to york national rowing museum which will be an absolute treat so yeah on to the future i hope you guys all have a very merry christmas it's christmas eve when i'm recording this i'll upload it today so have a nice christmas tomorrow uh, I'll, again i'll try and get back to anyone who leaves me a comment if you leave me any q a questions i shall write them down and read them out the q a i'm aiming to come out in january maybe yeah yeah around right about january time so a little bit later but yeah i'm just so busy this holiday because i've got revised for mocks fun okay so that's all from me that me finally instead of just me doing third person narrating this is the first off the cuff video so basically just improving the whole way through if you enjoy this more relaxed style of of um yeah i've lost the words see this is why i don't like doing the sort of just talking improv because sometimes my mind can go blank or i can mess up and i don't like it personally for me but if you do enjoy it and if you if i do see enough support for the improv i may do a bit more especially the modeling it is easier to do improv than um narrate a whole hour long video because yeah some of my videos are very long and it's very hard to go back and narrate all of it so we'll see anyway happy new year happy christmas and see you all in 2018 bye for now